I want to wish you a happy, happy Easter. Resurrection Sunday. All that blood, that precious blood that Christ died on the cross for us. All that blood that dripped from that cross for you and for me. So let's rise in newness of life. Resurrection Sunday. The blood of Christ was shed for you and for me. You may be at home or just riding down the road in your car. Maybe you're on your job and you need a miracle from God. You can get a miracle today. You can just dwell in his presence. So loyal, let's invoke his spirit because I want to petition your miracle today. Feel a miracle coming on in the midst of your presence. It's where I belong. I feel a miracle coming on through signs and wonders. You will show. Yourself strong, so we invoke your miracle.
get up out of that chair. You can be healed. Come on, come on, come on. Invoke your miracle. Just petition God. It's you can do it. You can do it. It belongs to you. Just have faith in God. I pray that video was a blessing to you. We've been working on that for a little while, but God blessed us to finally finish that video. So call your friend or neighbor, call your mother and your father, say, hey, you know, you need to watch this video. You need to watch this service. There's a word for you that God has given to the people of God. So miracles today, you can get a miracle today. All you have to do is believe because we live in now faith. Now faith is the substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things we can't even see. But we believe God that he can give us a miracle. So God bless you all. This is Easter Sunday, and I wanna welcome you to this broadcast on Easter Sunday. God has got a word of resurrection for you. Let's start off with First Peter that uh, second chapter, and we're gonna start with the 21st through that 25th verse. And when you look at Easter, the main thing on my mind and my spirit and my heart is resurrection. And Roger, I need you to look up the word resurrection because resurrection means something. And if Christ died for our sins and he rose again on that third day, he rose in us. Yes, sir. And God want us to be resurrected every day. But this special day, God's trying to get the people of God attention. Saying, Resurrection Day, I want to rise in you. I want to rise in you, in your spirit, in your heart. What's resurrection? Resurrection. Uh-huh. The rising of Christ from the dead. You say what? The rising of Christ from the dead. Come the on. rising of Christ from the dead. We saying, hey, wait a minute. You say that today is Easter? I'm telling you, rising from the dead. He rose from the dead. You're no longer dead anymore. Come on. He rose in you. Go ahead, yes, sir. son. A revival from a dead state. What? A yes. revival from a dead state. A revival from a dead state. How many, how, how many times you were dead? And God revived you. Yes, sir. He revived you when he went on that cross for your sins, my sins, everybody's sins. He rose in us and it became a revival on the inside of us. What else you got, son? A resurgence into newness of life. A what? A resurgence into newness of life. So we going into newness of life. So when Christ died on the cross, you got to remember this is a newness of life for me. Yes, I don't sir. have to commit sin no more. I don't have to live the old life that I lived before Come because on. Christ has risen in me. Read son, 1 Peter. 1 Peter 2 uh -huh. and 21. What does it say? For even here unto were uh, ye called uh -huh. because Christ. Wait a minute now. You were called. You were called because Christ did what? Because Christ uh -huh. also suffered for us. He did what? Also suffered for us. He suffered for us. Dying on that cross and shedding his precious blood. He died for us so that we can have the newness of life. Read, son. Leaving us an example. Leaving us a what? Example. Example, Roderick? You mean to tell me God left an example for us? Yes, sir. He showed us the way to live. He gave us a path. Example? Example. Uh-huh. A format. A for also, God gave us a format Come through on. his word. A blueprint. A blueprint? A How pattern. A pattern? How can you go wrong if you follow <laughs> That's the blueprint? Right. Come this on. is your pattern. If you follow this, how can you go wrong? Read, son. Leaving us an example uh -huh. that you should follow his steps. You should follow his steps. His steps. Stop following your own steps. Stop going the way that you want to go and follow the steps of Christ. Read, son. Who did no sin. He what? Who did no he sin. He didn't do no sin. Read, son. Neither was God. No God was found in him. And I'm asking you today, do you have God and you, you need to get rid of? 
Do you have something in you that you know just not right and you need to get rid of it? Gal, Roderick? Gal? So many things we have in, there, in our spirit, man, that yes, you sir. know and God already told you, get rid of that. Stop disliking this person. Hey, stop those bad thoughts that you're having. What's guile? Guile. Uh-huh. A filthy state. A filthy state. And that's why Christ came and died on the cross to bring us out of that filthy state that we were in. Come on. Go ahead, son. Soiled residue. Soiled residue. Have you ever put on something and you, oh, this is my favorite blouse, and you see a soil on it and you say, oh, my God, that's, I can't wear that. Uh, we were a sore residue in God's eyes. But he died on the cross for your sins and my sins. Go ahead, son. Who did no sin, uh -huh. neither was God found in his mouth. Go ahead. Who, when he was reviled. Oh, he, when he was reviled, he didn't, talk, he didn't try to cuss nobody out. He didn't try to talk about nobody. He didn't get angry with nobody. Go ahead. Who, when he was reviled, uh -huh. reviled not again. He didn't revile nobody. Stop trying to pay people back. When people talk about you, yes, sir. let them talk. God gave me this song, Step on the Mess. When people talk about you, Come just on, step, step on that. Step on that mess. Yes, sir. Step on that mess. And every time you step on that mess, it rises you higher and higher to another level. Yes, sir. Don't get involved in people worrying about what people are saying about you. Worry about what God is saying about you. What is God saying he wants you to do? Read, son. When he suffered, uh -huh. he threatened not. He, when he suffered, he didn't threaten. Some of you all suffer and people do you wrong and you try to pay them back. The Bible says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. Don't worry about paying people back. God got your back. So let God be your reward and let God be your center attraction walking on that straight and narrow path. What verse you on, son? Verse 23. Uh-huh. But committed himself. Uh, he did what? He committed he himself. Com and what God is saying, commit yourself today. Commit, Roderick. He committed himself. God wants you to commit yourself. He died on the cross for you and for me. It's time now to make a commitment to God. And say, so, Lord, I know that I haven't been doing all that I should be doing. But now I'm going to commit myself to you today. Read, son. Commit. Uh-huh. Making a pledge. Oh, so if you commit yes, to God, you make a pledge. Amen. Make a pledge to God. Yes, sir. Say, Lord, because this is Easter Sunday, this is Sunday resurrection, I'm going to make a pledge to you. I'm going to make a pledge to get rid of everything that's not like you. I'm going to make a pledge to bless your house and bring finances into your house. I'm going to make that pledge. Read, son. To obligate yourself to something. Obligate. See, a lot of you all have stopped obligating yourself towards God. Amen. It's time Amen. now to come back home. Yes, sir. This is Resurrection Sunday, the perfect day for you to come back to Jesus Christ and say, Lord, I pledge to keep my vessel clean. I pledge to keep my mind clean. I pledge to trust you with everything in me. Uh, give, give me Romans 6, the 6th chapter, and give me that, that 12th, 13, 14, 15 verse. What does that say? So when you commit yourself to God, you say, saying, I give you all of me. Christ gave his all for us. The least we can do is make a pledge to God that from this day forward, yes, sir. I'm going to live for you. What does it say? Romans 6 and 12. Uh-huh. Let not sin, therefore, uh -huh. reign in your mortal body. Don't let it stay in your body, your mortal body. Get rid of it. Read, son. That you should obey it in the lust thereof. Wait a minute, that you obey the lust thereof. This is right time for you to resurrect. Get your body, your temple clean and come before God with a humble heart saying, Lord, I, I'm, I'm sorry for my sins. I want you to wash me. I want you to cleanse me. I want you to take everything that's not like you out of me. Read, son. Neither yield ye your members uh -huh. as instruments D of unrighteousness. Don't yield your members to instruments of unrighteousness. Your eyes can get you in trouble. Your hands can get you in serious trouble. Your feet can take you to yes, the wrong sir. place. Stop letting your members can make you commit sin. Read, son. But yield yourself. But what? But yield yourself. Stop 
and think about your actions. Yes, sir. All that blood, that precious blood Come on. that he died on the cross Boy, for yes. me and for you. Come on. Think about your actions. Think about your sins and what you're doing towards God. Yes, sir. Read, son. But yield yourself uh -huh. unto God. Yield, Roderick? Yield yourself unto God? Unto God. Yield? To put a hold on it. To what? To put a hold on it. To put, I'm going to put a hold on it. Hey, come on. I'm going to put a hold on it. Yes, I'm going to give this vessel, this temple to God. Boy, Read, yes. son. To subject yourself to. To subject yourself to God. See, God don't want half. He want all. Stop giving God a piece of you. Give God your all in all. And God will give you his all in all. He's already given it to you. Yes, sir. When he shed his blood on the cross for you and me, he gave all he had that we have a chance at the tree of life, that we don't have to commit sin anymore. We don't have to do wrong anymore. Read, overseer. But yield yourself uh -huh. unto God. Yield yourself unto God. Go ahead. As those that are alive from the dead. Wait a minute. But those that are alive from the dead, God, when Christ came into your mortal body, he resurrected you and he, you became alive. Yes, that sir. you don't have to commit sin no more. You don't have to do wrong no more. You don't have to lie no more. You don't have to commit adultery no more. You have been risen from the dead. Read, son. As those that are alive from the dead. Uh-huh. And your members. And your what? Your members. Your hands, your feet, your eyes, your mouth. Go ahead. Your members. Uh-huh. As instruments uh -huh. of righteousness unto God. Wait a minute. Use your members for righteousness unto God. Hey, call somebody on the phone and say, you know, Know what this is Easter Sunday and I want to tell you today that God wants to tell you how much he loves you Come on. God wants to you, you to give up your sins God wants you to get in your Bible yes sir. God want to talk to you see will you pray with me today and let's give God our all in all and God just put in my heart and say hey let's pray I guarantee you the blessing yes, read sir. son read verse 14 uh-huh for sin uh huh. Shall not have dominion over you. Wait a minute. Sin shouldn't have dominion, Roderick? Dominion. Uh huh. The power to rule. Wait a minute. Sin don't have the power to rule because when Christ died on that cross, the power is all in his hand. Yes, so sir. you don't have to obey what the devil tell you to do. Read, Roderick. Control over. He don't have control over you. Come on. You got the control because Jesus on the inside of you. That's what he died for. So the devil don't have control over you. The people have been tricked by the enemy. The devil making you think that you have to commit sin and you don't. That's why he died on the cross. So you don't have to sin. Read. For sin shall not have dominion over you. Uh huh. For ye are not under the law. We're not under the law. Go ahead. But under grace. Go ahead. What did? Uh huh. Shall we sin? Wait a minute. And a lot of people say that now. Hey, I'm under grace so I can commit sin and if I'll just tell God to forgive me and he'll forgive me. Should you commit sin because you're under grace? I say no. Read, son. Shall we sin? Uh-huh. Because we're not under the law? Read. But under grace? Uh-huh. God forbid. Uh-huh. Know ye not uh -huh. that whom you yield yourself serve. Wait a minute. Who you yield yourself servants to, that's who you, oh, you serve. If you oh, yield your body to God and on this Resurrection Sunday, yes, sir. that's who you belong to. But if you yield your members to unrighteousness, you belong to the enemy. Wake up. It's time to wake up. It's Resurrection Sunday. It's time to put on the new man, which is in Christ. Come on. Put on that new man that Christ has gave that light on the inside of you. Romans 8, uh, 8th chapter, that 5th verse, what does that say? There's something about this resurrection Sunday yes, that sir. I feel that, 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 that birthing on the inside Come and on. remembering what Christ went through for us. Read it, son. Romans 8 and 5. Uh-huh. For they uh -huh. that are after the flesh. Watch this now. If you after the flesh, you can't please God. Read, son. 
to mind the things of the flesh. So if you after the flesh, you mind the things of the flesh. What your flesh want. Your flesh will say, hey, wait a minute. When it's time to be hot, you want to be cold. When it's time to be yes, cold, sir. you want to be hot. Yeah, your man. flesh say, I'm thirsty. And then your flesh say, hey, wait a minute. I ain't, I ain't thirsty. I want to go out here and do commit sin. Whatever your flesh say. Hey, wait a minute. Read, son. But they that are after the spirit. Uh-huh. The things of the we spirit. We mind the things of the spirit of God. The spiritual part of God. Read, son. But to be carnally minded. Uh, what? See, when you carnal minded, you death. That's death for you. Yes, sir. Carnal? What is carnal, Roderick? Carnal minded? What is carnal? Carnal. Uh-huh. Of relating to bodily needs. Wait a minute. So you relate to your bodily needs? Come on now. Things that are superficial. Something that's superficial is really not real. Come on. But the enemy make you think that because your mind is carnal. Yes, sir. Go ahead. But to be carnally minded uh, is death. Uh huh. But to be spiritually minded is what? Is life and peace. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. Is life and peace. If you want peace today, be spiritual minded. Let Christ rise in you. Let him rise in you and come alive in you. Read, son. Because the carnal mind uh -huh. is enmity against God. Wait a minute. The carnal mind don't know God. What's enmity, Roderick? Come on. Enmity. Uh-huh. It is an enemy. It's, oh, enmity is an enemy? Come on. One that hates. Wait a minute. Enmity is one that hates. And that enemy is hating you. Because he's trying to trick you and pull your salvation out of you. Don't let him do it. This is Resurrection Sunday. Read, Roderick. One that opposes. One that opposes. See, the devil always going to try to oppose what God tell you to do. That's when right. he tell you right, the devil going to tell you to do wrong. Read, son. One that harms. The one, one that what? One that harms. One that harms. Enmity against God. The mm. devil trying to harm you. Mm. But Christ came to give you life. That's right. He came to resurrect in you. Don't let this Sunday pass you by when you can let Christ resurrect in your spirit, man. Read, son. Because the carnal mind uh -huh. is enmity against God. Go ahead. For it is not subject to the law of God. It's not subject. See, when your mind is carnal, you're not subject to the law of God. You're not subject to this Bible. You don't care what it says because you're not subject to it because your mind is carnal. When your mind gets spiritual, then the word of God is life to you. Read, son. For it is not subject to uh, the law of God. Uh-huh. Neither indeed can be. Read. So then they uh -huh. that are in the flesh. Wait a minute. Those that's in the flesh, when you're in the flesh, you can't please God. Read, son. So then they that are in the flesh uh -huh. cannot please God. Read. But ye are not in the flesh. I'll tell you today, Christ has risen in you. Come on. You're not in the flesh, but you're in the spirit. So let him live in you. Walk in the spirit and you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Colossians, that uh, third chapter in the fifth verse, what does that say? Resurrection. I just keep hearing that resurrection. And I keep hearing God tell me, he said, tell the people, let me live in them. Let me resurrect in them. What does it say? Colossians 3 and 5. Uh-huh. Mortify therefore your members. Wait a minute. Mortify? You mean you got to kill those members? Kill that flesh? Remember, just think about when I think about Christ and him on that cross and shedding his precious blood and they whipping him, giving him vinegar for water. When I think about everything that he done for me, I got to kill this flesh. I can't let the flesh live. What's mortify? Mortify. Uh-huh. To destroy the strength of. Uh, wait a minute. Destroy the strength of the, the flesh. To cause it to lose its life. To cause your flesh to lose the life that it thinks it has on you. Yes, sir. Because it don't have no hold on you. You got you holding it. Let the flesh die and let Christ live in you. Read, son. Mortify. Uh-huh. Therefore, your members. Your members, your eyes, your hand, your feet, your members. Read. Which are upon the earth. Uh-huh. Fornication. Watch this now. Now, this get deep here. Yes, sir. You got to kill fornication. 
You got to kill it. Fornication? We got to break this thing down. Yes, sir. You got to kill fornication. You cannot sleep with a man that you're not married to or sleep with a woman you're not. Then Christ hasn't risen in you. Fornication. What is fornication? To have sexual intercourse outside of marriage. Wait a minute. Okay, come on. Having sexual intercourse outside of marriage. That's fornicate. Oh, Dr. Brennan, I know you ain't got to be saying all that. No, I'm stepping on your toes today. Come on. Because I want to resurrect you. Yes. Sir. I want to bring you to life again. I want you to live in Christ again. Read. Uncleanliness. Uh-huh. Inordinate affection. Inordinate affection. Wait a minute now. Inordinate affection? You can't have the wrong affection for the opposite sex. Inordinate? Inordinate. What is it? Going beyond what is usual. What, what, what go, is normal. Wait a minute. You going inordinate is going beyond what is usual? What is usual. Uh-huh. Normal. Uh-huh. Or proper. Or proper. God said, no, you can't have that. You can't have an inordinate affection. If you want Christ to resurrect in you, it's time to let him live in you and resurrect in you. And Roger, get up before I get out of here, I need that resurrection one more time because people just, yes, I, want, I want it to resonate in their spirit that what Christ want to do for you. Come on. And all those, and you just get, get Romans, the eighth chapter. You read that and read Romans, the, the sixth chapter. Yes, you sir. read that. God is trying to tell you. Read Colossians, that, that, that third chapter, yes, that sir. fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, first. Yes. Read all that. Because God's saying, hey, wait a minute. I want to live in you. I want you to clean your life up and let me wash you. Resurrection? Resurrection uh -huh. was when Christ was brought back. When Christ, to life. when he was brought back to life. <laughs> Come on. Resurrection. Bring him back into your life. You say, well, he, he is in my life. No. If you in sin today, you need to resurrect Christ again in you. Resurrect? To raise from the dead. To raise from the dead. Christ came to raise you from the dead. To begin to exist. To, God wants you to begin to exist. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Why? Because it's Resurrection Sunday. And God want to bless you. Bless God today. Be a liberal soul. God is a giver. He gave his life. So you give today. Give to God's house. Bless God's house. Pay your tithes. Pay your offerings. Do what you're supposed to do towards God. And let God bless you. This is Resurrection Sunday. And God want to live in you. Let him live. God bless you. Love you. I want you to not let this Resurrection Sunday pass you by. Remember what Christ did. He gave his only begotten son for us that we don't have to commit sin anymore. So I want you to give today. Look on the screen and there's different ways of you giving. A liberal soul will be made fat. The Bible says, will a man rob God? He said, you rob me every day through your tithes and your offering. He said, bring all the tithes and the offering into the storehouse, that there'll be meat in thine house. And prove me now, herewith saith the Lord, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, and it won't be room enough to receive it, and I'll rebuke every devil for your sake. And your ground won't cast its fruit before time. This is a year of increase. So increase your giving so God can increase you. God bless you and I love you.